Amen. This very God. This very God. This very God. Praise Him, the glory. This very God. Almighty Father. Our very God. Receive the glory to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Very God. Receive the glory. This very God. Almighty. Father, our very God, receive the glory to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, it's very God, receive the glory. Almighty Father, our very God, receive the glory to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, very God. Almighty Father, He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We have a Father, Hallelujah. Brethren, we have a Father in heaven. <laughs> the God of Joseph, He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We have a Father, Hallelujah. I say we have a Father in heaven. <laughs> the God of choosing, He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We have a Father, Hallelujah. Choosing we have a part in heaven. <laughs> Almighty Daddy, He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We have a part, Hallelujah. Oh yes, He is. I say we have a part in heaven. <laughs> the God of choosing, He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We have a Father, Hallelujah. He can never, never change. He can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus is there forever. I'm a believer. i no Omega. He can never, never fail me. He can never, never fail you. He can never, never fail. Jesus defend forever. Our Redeemer, the God of choosing. He can never, never fail you. 
He can never, never see me. He can never, never fail. Jesus is there forever. Our Redeemer, Alpha and Omega. I know His name. I know His name. His name is wonderful. I know His name. I know. I know. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, this wonderful. I know. I know. Oh, this miracle. I know his name, I know his name, his name is the son of God, I know his name, I know, I know, oh, I know, I know, oh, I know, I know, oh, this miracle, I know his name, he can never, never fail, he can never, never fail, he can never, never fail, Jesus is there forever. Our Redeemer, ocean divider. He can never, never fail you. He can never, never fail me. He can never, never fail. Jesus is forever. Oh, Jehovah, listen. The mighty battle. He can never, never fail me. He can never, never fail me. He can never, never fail. Jesus the same forever. Our Redeemer, the great provider. Today, today, this very day, Jesus will answer me. Today, today, today. This day, oh, This is today. Oh, today, today. This is oh, Jesus has me today, today. This is today. Oh. To live, to live, oh, this is to live, oh, Jesus, we have me, oh, Lord, come down from my face of power. Oh Lord, come down from my place of power. Oh Lord, come down from my place of power. Oh Lord, come down from my place of power. Come down. How many faces of power? Oh Lord, come down, come many faces of power. Sing it. Invite him.
Everybody, sister, sing. Brother, sing. With all your heart. Come come on, the first of all. Come Change your hand, clap your hand well. Change your hand, clap it. Mm. Your hands only, your hands only, only your hands. Just your hands. Your hands only, your hands. Is alive, amen. Is alive. Oh, Jesus is alive. Forever is alive. Amen, amen. Is alive. Is alive, amen, amen, is alive. Our God is alive, forever is alive, amen, amen. Is alive, amen, is alive. Oh, Jesus is alive, forever is alive. Amen, amen. Uh, sing it now.
Even in the summer, is alive will prove in your midst today that he is alive. That problem that brought you here will never follow you out. Before I say the final amen, that problem shall be no more. Every heavy burden you carried over the years shall be lifted. All those who have been watching what you are going to be in life, they will see the finger of God. Agamabu, Yachinekas and Angabo, Agama, Onakamanabu, I got my book, he ain't in the case, and I got my book. I got my book, I got my book, I got my book. We shall be, one day, Lord, say, we shall be, we shall be. The hand of my can never prevail. One day, Lord, say, We shall be what the Lord say we shall be. We shall be. The hand of my can never prevail. I got my book. He ain't in a case and I got a boy. All I got my dog boy. We have a lion, we have a lion, choosing 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 a lion, we have a lion, we have a lion, we have a lion. We have a lion, 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 we have a
في هذا لا يحج عليه لا Shall be swallowed up. Your life can never be the same. I will hear your testimony. Oh Lord, you are so good. You have no challenger, Daddy. You are so good. 
that we must prevail. Our oh God, you are wonderful. You have no challenge that we are so good that we must prevail. Our oh God, you are so excellent. You have no challenge that we are so good that we must prevail. Our oh God, you are wonderful. You have no challenge. That is so good. Your will must prevail. Oh, yeah, sing it. You have no. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, take over. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, take over. And God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, take over. And God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, take over. And go the Holy Ghost. 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 I'm going to 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 the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, take a long. Holy Ghost. I'm going to the 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 Holy Ghost. He's taking over now. Holy Ghost is taking over. To bless, to heal, to deliver, to fight, to defeat them. He's taking over. I'm God the Holy Ghost. 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 Jesus Christ, whom I serve, I cancel it. 
Holy Ghost, show me a sign. And the problem is cancelled. Just keep quiet, keep quiet. Whoever that brought that load of trouble by the kingdom of darkness, wherever you are, receive your deliverance. Or just watch out somebody to a lot of problem left, right, front, and back. Now you'll be delivered completely. Delivered. <laughs> Keep quiet. Or just watch out. What is delivering the person I'm talking about? Is delivering the person I'm talking about? Anywhere they took your name to, whatever they have set in motion. To follow you, it will go back to the sender. <laughs> Woman, I set you free. Your man, I set you free. And that young man there, whatever that is living in you that is not of God, I command that to come out. In the name of Jesus, loose. Or just watch out there. Don't enter anybody. Enter fire. Enter fire. Enter fire. You python. You serpentine spirit. You snake. Or you die. I say, in the name of Jesus, die! That dwarf operating in that young man that has made you to be limited and nothing is working and I made it impossible for you to excel. Let that dwarf come out! Asian spirit, Asian demon, Asian power, come out and that fire. Holy Ghost! Or just watch out down there. Spirit of limitation, catch fire and die. Spirit of untimely dead following this person. Keep quiet, keep quiet. They don't know your voice. They know my voice very well. And so when I speak, they will respond. Spirit of untimely dead. In the name of Jesus, come out. Enter bottle of Enter bottle of Out, out. Or just watch out what is happening there now. Young woman, you will never die a day before you are dead. Whatever they have said, any plan of somebody to use you for destruction, in the name of Jesus, I cancel that plan. I lose you, I set you free. Queen! Queen! In the name of Jesus, come out! I cast you the fire. Holy Ghost! Queen of Ghost. Queen of Queens, Queen of Unknown Kingdom, I torment you by fire, Holy Ghost 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 fire. Whatever they have been feeding you 
to weaken you to make you not even to serve God everything they have given you in the dream to eat I nullify it by the blood of Jesus I command those to come out of your body in Jesus name anywhere they are planning evil against you and they are thinking they have succeeded no today in the name of Jesus I stop them they shall not succeed all their plan with all their plan to to kill to kidnap to destroy your life listen to me their gun will never work against you their plan will never work against you listen to me as i finish any man planning anything against you against anybody in this place if that person did not repent and giving that person three days from today he will pack he will pack he will pack he will give chance forever I said three days. If it past three days is not my word. And I'm assuring you, I said three days. Anyone that reason up against anyone in this church, against this church, Lord, I declare wars. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can fight with my God? I say nobody. Holy Ghost, fight my battle. Holy Ghost, Holy, Holy Ghost, Holy, Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Lord, anointing of Jesus. Holy, Holy Ghost, Holy, Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Lord, Holy, Holy Ghost, battle, Holy Ghost, battle, Holy Ghost, battle, Holy Ghost, battle, Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. <laughs> by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. listening to me properly well 
anywhere, any being, principalities or powers or their human agents have risen up against anyone, against anyone present in this church today. That kingdom, that spirit must be destroyed. Now, pay attention. Somebody here, you will see a revelation. The arrow that has set in motion against you, you will see it going back to the center. Even as I'm talking now, that arrow is leaving you. Back to send in Jesus' name. 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 In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Let us send us, send us, let us send us, let us send us, let us. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. to me carefully those that cost you in the heart those that cost you physically those that made the enchantment the contention, projection telepathy, manipulation and set it in motion to follow you in the name of Jesus I return the battle center Holy Ghost, show me a sign. Sign! Scandalian Arusia, Scandalico Perusquitena. Scandalian Arusia, Scandalico Perusquitena. Every arrow of death, by the sender. Arrow of course, by the sender. Arrow of sickness, by the sender. Out of poverty, by the sender. Out of affliction, by the sender. My heart remain calm. The Lord has something good to do for me. My heart remain. My heart remain calm and do not worry. My heart remain calm and do not check it, check it. My heart is my command, do not worry. My heart is my command, do not fear. Oh, yeah, sing it, sing it.
That is why he brought you here today. He has something good to do for you. Let me tell somebody here. The arrow of breaking your marriage through barrenness. Today, I return it back to sender. And I cancel barrenness for you. They're laughing you. <laughs> but listen to me. God will make you to laugh last. One day, Isaac will be born in your house. And those that are here, they will laugh with you. Somebody here, do you believe in miracles? I'm asking somebody, answer me. Do you believe in miracles? Now I'm giving you this month to conceive. How many days to go? How many days for this month to go? Now this month you will conceive. You will not see your period this month. Can I hear you say amen? In the name of Jesus, I lose you. He see you. They will ask you, where did you go? <laughs> Is it possible? They say, where did you? Tell us where you went. My daddy. Remember them for good. I pray that everyone's expectation in this program today be granted. Daddy, every plant you have not planted in them, I cause the evil plant. Let the prostate cancer be uprooted. Let the breast cancer be uprooted. Let the typhoid fever, malaria, parasite be cancer be uprooted. Let the persistent cough be cancer be uprooted. And that terrible leg poison be caused be uprooted. Father, he the sick, deliver the oppressed, provide for the poor, fight their battle, give them victory in Jesus' name. Daddy, you are the mighty one in battle. Today, this night, step into the battle. I want to hear your testimony because it will come to pass. He see you. God will defeat your enemy. Daddy, bless me this once. I want to hear their testimonies. I want to see their laughter. Daddy, Daddy, we have no earth beside you in heaven and on earth. You are the only God, the dependable reality, the covenant keeping God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of the chosen people, glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. I pass a decree. And no one that step into this place shall go back the same. All that are watching me all over the world and say amen to my prayer today, Father, let their problem be over. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. And I seize every power of the enemy. 
I command it to cease to operate here in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, take over. Bless everyone. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Shall we get seated? Today is your turn to testify. Turn your Bible to Ezekiel 34. Ezekiel chapter 34. Please open your Bible. I want to read Ezekiel 34 from verse 25. If you don't have Bible, you can read with somebody that have Bible. Ezekiel 34, from verse 25. And it reads, And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will it cause the evil beast to cease out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my heel a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. That shall be showers of blessing. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit. And the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be saved in their land. And shall know that I am the Lord when I have broken the bands of the yoke and delivered them out of the hand of the, those that serve themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beasts of the land devour them, but they shall do it safely and not shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more conjunct with hunger in the land, neither be at the shame of the heathen any more. Thus shall they know that I, the Lord, their God, am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, and my people, says the Lord, God, and ye my flock, the flock of my pasture. Amen. And I am your God, say the Lord God. In Isaiah chapter 27, Isaiah chapter 27, I read verse 3. 27, verse 3. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment. Lest any touch it, I will keep it night and day. God will keep you night and day. God will keep the fruit of your womb night and day. God will keep your children night and day. God will keep your business, your blessings night and day. And no evil shall touch it in Jesus' name. Amen. And so from these chapters and verses, I'm bringing to you the theme. The theme, Chowers of Blessings, Part 4. Chowers of Blessings, Part 4. As we come to the conclusion of the above theme, we believe that many of us have been transformed into all the aspects of God's glory. And by the grace of God, we are shining to the extent that the brightness of the glory will keep Satan and his evil spirit and human agent away from us and from all our possessions. They shall not touch them. Say amen. amen. Whatever God has given to you, the glory of God shall be with you. 
and the devil and demon the agent can never touch those things so today we shall dwell on god's divine nature of mercy which was lost by the first man adam but was restored by our lord jesus christ our savior the second adam if you look at the bible in hebrews chapter 2 hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 and i read hebrews chapter 2 from verse 9 but we see jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of god to test death for every man. Verse 10, for he became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Christ has come to bring us into the glory that was lost by Adam. And I'm assuring you, you shall dwell in that glory. And your life shall shine. And as you continue to dwell and behold the glory, it, you, it shall be from glory to glory. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, we read verse 18. Please open your Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, take note, but we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, I change into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. It see you as you dwell in God's glory, as you continue to follow the Lord Jesus, you go from glory to glory until you enter heaven can i hear you say amen? amen so through this message we shall consider the following subheadings one god's divine nature of mercy lost and restored take it again god's divine nature of mercy lost and restored to our application and the benefits. Let's go to point number one. God's divine nature of mercy lost and restored. Through the previous messages in this theme, from part one, part two, part three, and now part four today, it is very clear that God created man in his own image and likeness. We saw it. God created us in his own image and what? Likeness. And the Bible says so. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and through to verse 27. Look at the Bible. Genesis chapter 1. Reading from verse 26. And I read verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So, verse 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. God created us originally in his own image and likeness and even made us to have dominion over all his creatures. In verse 28, and God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. He created them in his own image and made them to have dominion over all that he created. Praise the Lord. 
So you need to pay attention. Before the fall of man, he was clothed with mercy and has been showing mercy just as God would show mercy. Man was full of God's glory. Every aspect of God's divine nature, man had it. Man was full of the glory of mercy. Man was not wicked. If you look at the Bible, let me show you something. In Genesis chapter 2, I read verse 16. Genesis chapter 2 verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, Of every tree of the garden, thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and a help me for him. The point is this. God at the very beginning created man to be like him. A man doesn't know anything evil. Neither does he do evil. Praise the Lord. He was clothed with the divine nature of God. And God said, in this garden, there's this tree in the midst of the garden. This tree, you shouldn't eat the fruit of it, lest you die. Lest to become spiritually dead, and then cut off from me, and then and become evil, wicked. Don't touch that fruit of the tree. But the devil came and tempted man to disobey God. And that's the beginning of the problem of man. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. And I read, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made, and said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden, and the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, least you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. The devil deceived the woman and made the woman to disobey God in verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did it. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and the sad, I mean the soul picked leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they had the voice of the Lord God walking in the midst, in the garden, in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among us the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. I hid myself. That was the beginning of the problem of man. Man disobeyed God and lost the glory and became sinful and couldn't behold God anymore. Man became sinner when he disobeyed God. And couldn't stand before God. And when he had the voice of God, he was hiding. That's what is still happening today. Those who don't want to come out of sin, who are not born again, they will not like to hear the word of God. 
Whenever they hear the word of God, they will be ashamed. They will run away. They will not like to open Bible at all, at all. Because of the nature of sin. But I want to let you know something. After this fall, that was the beginning of man's problem. Man dwells before the fall in the presence of God. Man enjoy all the aspects of glory before the fall such as goodness, love, power, mercy, righteousness, peace, faith, joy, holiness. Man enjoy every aspect of God's divine nature. And all the divine nature. Man was dwelling in death. As a result, he was enjoying the presence of God. But after the fall, the whole thing departed. I want you to take note of that. He lost the glory. When man died spiritually, he was separated from God who created him for his own pleasure. God, will not, God could not take pleasure in man. In fact, what God did was to drove away the mouth out of the garden of Eden. And he couldn't come near any longer. And so, man died spiritually. He was separated. And all the glory was lost. He lost the glory of God. No wonder the Bible said in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Please open your Bible. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Verse 3 is Romans chapter 3. I read verse 23. And it reads. Chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have seen and come short of the glory of God. All have seen. Why? Every man born of a man and a woman took part in the blood of Adam and Eve. And that made everybody to have contamination of sin. That's why when a child is born, you know the first thing the child will do? He will not laugh. He will say, ha, 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 No, what we hear is what? Cry. Because he possesses that Adamic nature. So he will cry. In fact, if your child did not cry, you will make the child to cry. Otherwise, you will think that that child is not alive. So you will say, mm, cry, cry. Instead of say, laugh, laugh. Am I right? Have you seen any child born laughing? The born the child is saying, ha, 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 ha. No. Because all the people that are born of a man and woman were contaminated. They had wicked nation, Adamic nation. Because of the fall of man. Praise the Lord. That is why if you belong to any religion that does not know Jesus Christ, you will have no foundation of righteousness. And a house without foundation cannot stand. You don't understand what I'm saying. No, you should understand. Are you hearing me? The foundation of righteousness is Jesus Christ. Foundation of righteousness. In fact, Jesus Christ is the righteousness of God. He was not con contaminated. Jesus did not pass through the process of a man and a woman. He took part, he took over the womb of a woman as, as a cloth. That is, you want to go to school or go to market, go to a important occasion, you put on good suit. Are you hearing me? That what exactly what Jesus, what did Jesus did? Jesus entered the Virgin Mary. The man, no man came near her. And he was in the womb for nine months. And then, and he came out. And I'm telling you, when Jesus was inside there, if, if Mary does anything, Jesus saw it. You don't agree with me? If Mary made a mistake and said, um, what, what is it? He was looking at, what is, what is this woman doing? Are you hearing me? 
He knew everything. He's God. The Bible says he's the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords. The Bible says, for unto us a child is born, and the government shall be upon his children. And his name shall be called what? A man. Now listen to me. Jesus came as a Messiah, as a Redeemer, as a Savior. There is no other human being that came into the world as a Messiah, as a Redeemer, as a Savior. He's the only Messiah. He's the only Savior. That's why the Bible says you must be born again. If you don't have Jesus, you have no life in you. Praise the Lord. So you need to pay attention because you must go home with something. Whether your enemy like it or not. Whether they wish you or say wherever you go, you get nothing. Today you get something. I am definite about this matter. He see you. You can never be here in vain. Whether you like it or not. You see, Jesus said, I will build my church. The gates of faith shall not prevail against. You see you. The Lord will build you today. You need to pay attention. So immediately after the fall of man, and, and he lost the glory of God, he became wicked and merciless. He doesn't have mercy again because of the wicked nature he possessed from Adam through the devil. Are you hearing me? After the fall of man, he became wicked because of the wicked nature he possessed from the devil. Praise the Lord. That was after the fall. Let's see what happened. After they had the first children, Adam and Eve had the first children. Let's see what happened to them. Let's see what happened to the children. The kind of life they lived. In Genesis chapter 4, I read from verse 1. Genesis chapter 4. From verse 1. Please open your Bible. Please see something there. They had children. Let's see the kind of life the children lived. And Adam knew if his his wife and she conceived and beckoned and said I have gotten a man from the Lord and she again bare his brother Abel and Abel was a keeper of sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And I bear he also brought of the firstling of his flock, of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abbe and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his and to his offering he had not respect. God did not regard it the offering of Cain. And Cain was what? Very angry. Rot. You can see the wicked nation. He was rot. And his countenance it what? Fell. He began to, you know, imagine what to do. Evil to do. Now look at verse 6. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why are thou rot? And why is thy countenance falling? If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Now, when God has spoken, Cain became more angry. Verse 8. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. What did he do? He killed him. I don't know where they are flowing. Who is the business of killing? The Bible said in John chapter 10, verse 10, 
the thief cometh not but for to keep to steal and to destroy. The work of the devil is to keep to steal and to destroy. And because they have possessed the devilish nature, the glory of righteousness has departed. Mercy has gone. They began to manifest can began to manifest wicked nature of Satan. If you want to know this thing very well, look at chapter five. Let me show you chapter five. Genesis chapter 5, you will be able to understand something there. But these people do not got children after the image and likeness of God anymore, but after their own image and likeness. Chapter 5, verse 3. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and began a son in his own, in his, in his own likeness and the Lord. In his own likeness, after his own, after his image, and call his name what? Set. He, he begat children after his own likeness, after his own image. No longer after the image and likeness of God, which he was originally created. Sinful nature. Praise the Lord. But when our Lord Jesus Christ came and paid the price for our sin, pay the ransom for our sin, for our redemption, with the sinless blood, he restored the glory of God unto us, including this aspect of mercy, which we are teaching or discussing this hour. Praise the Lord. That's why Jesus came. He came to redeem us. He came to restore the glory and to bring us to sonship, to make us to become children of God. That's why Jesus came. He paid the price of our sin through his own blood. Because the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there shall be no remission of sin. According to Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. That's why he came to and shed his blood, that our sins shall be what? Washed away. So, I want to let you know, Jesus came as God. He came as express image of God. And he came by the election, by the commandment of God, and a demonstration of God's love to humanity. In John chapter 1, this is from verse 1, John's Gospel chapter 1, verse 1. And I read... John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 1. Please look at the Bible. And it reads, In the beginning was the world, and the world was with God, and the world was God. The thing was in the beginning with God. Talking about who? Jesus Christ. Is the word of God made a person. Praise the Lord. He came into the world without sin to redeem us from sin that we might become children of God. Look at verse 12. Verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As many that received who? God gave them power to become sons of God. And then you should understand that God demonstrated his love by giving us who? Jesus Christ. That all of us might come back to the lost glory. In John chapter 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16. Look at the Bible. And I read. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through but the world through him might be saved. Verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of of the only begotten Son of God. So, if anybody 
have not accepted Jesus is still separated from God and dead spiritually. No matter what happens, you can't enter heaven because you enter heaven through Jesus Christ by the means of the blood which is shed for me and for you at the cross of Calvary. And so he has come. He has shed his blood to give us eternal life. In John chapter 10, I read verse 10. John chapter 10. Verse 10. And he says, John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's exactly what he did. The thief did in the garden of Eden. But look at what followed. Jesus knew why he came. He said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's why I came. That every human being who will accept him, who will receive him, that person shall be what? Have eternal life. Abundance of life. The glory will be restored. Now, look at the book of Hebrews chapter 2 again. I read from verse 9. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9 and I read but we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of the crown with glory and honor and by the grace of God he should test death for himself and answer me he should test death for every man. Verse 10. For it became him whom, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto world glory to make the captain of the salvation perfect through suffering. Jesus came to bring me and you into world the glory which was lost by the first man. That's the glory of righteousness of holiness the divine nature of god every aspect of god's divine nature christ has come to bring it back that's why you can see people show you mercy today because christ has restored mercy the grace of god is able to make you to have mercy praise the lord now if you look at the romans chapter 6 verse 23 romans chapter 6 Verse 23, and I read verse 23. For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want to let you know, sin, the reward of sin is what? Dead. Separation from God. But then, God has demonstrated his love, his mercy upon us, and gave us his son which is a package of God's divine nature, internal life, abundance of life, that through him we all might be what? Saved and have all the glory restored. So it is a gift. You don't work for it. You don't buy it. You don't just merit it. It is a gift of God. When God gives it to you, I want to let you know you will become a child of God. You will live your life by the spirit that controls you, which is the spirit of who? Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. For the apostle said, I can do all things through who? Jesus has strengthened me. He see you. You can live right through Jesus Christ. You can show mercy through Jesus Christ. You can you know, demonstrate the love of God through Jesus Christ. Every aspect of God's divine nature, you can manifest it through who? I'm not hearing you again. Through Jesus Christ. Today, we are going to pray in mercy and begin to live our life in, with demonstration of mercy. Are you hearing me? You will show mercy to others. And God will show you mercy. Others will show you mercy. 
Can I hear you say amen? amen? So you need to pay attention to prove that he came for the purpose of showing and restoring mercy. Our Lord Jesus Christ went out, went about demonstrating the mercy of God to humanity. When he came into the world, he, he came as, you know, as a bondment of mercy. Package of mercy. In fact, if you see Jesus, if you can see mercy walking with hands and feet, that is who? Jesus Christ. Jesus is a bondment of war. Mercy. So when he came, you know, the Bible says, whatever a man has, that is what he's going to give. When he came, he started going about demonstrating. I'm not hearing you again. Demonstrating what? Mercy, because he's full of mercy. Praise the Lord. Let's find out what the Bible says to confirm what I've said. In Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Please open your Bible. Mark chapter 10. I read verse 46. And it reads, Mark chapter 10, verse 46. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timos, sat by the high wayside begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and said, Jesus, thou son of David, do what? And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, mercy on me. And Jesus to steal and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good courage, comfort, rise. He called him. And he cast him away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Please take note, please take note. What will thou, please take note, what will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. The point is, the man knew that the coming of Jesus marked the manifestation of God. And when the man saw Jesus, he doesn't know what to pray. But he knows that this is mercy going about. He said, Chio me mercy. Chio, he didn't pray any other prayer. Son of David, do what? Show me mercy. He knew that Jesus was full of mercy. So the only prayer is, show me mercy. And because of that prayer, Jesus stood still. He couldn't move. He said, call him. Even when people say, no, you are disturbing the master. Wait, 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 wait. He said, call him. What is it that you want me to do for you? And he said, I'm going to see my size. And that was all. He showed him mercy. And the man received the sight. You see here today, by the mercy of God, your blindness shall be cancelled. Your poverty will be cancelled. By the mercy of God today, that sin you have been into shall be forgiven you. By the mercy of God today, deliverance will come your way. By the mercy of God, your blind eyes shall be opened. By the mercy of God, you are going to get into your marriage this year. By the mercy of God, whatever you have lost shall be restored to you. God will show you mercy. That is why Jesus came to demonstrate the mercy of God. To bring mercy which was lost back to humanity. And today, somebody here will have mercy. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 27. Matthew chapter 9, verse 27. Please open your Bible. Let's see something. Chapter 9, 
and verse 27. And I read. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, what was their prayer again? Have mercy on us. And when he was gone into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe it that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. He touched their eyes, said, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. He had mercy on them and opened their eyes. Praise the Lord. You can see that Jesus was a monument of mercy. And Jesus came to bring back mercy, the glory of mercy lost. He demonstrated it. He showed it. Now, let's see something here. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. Let's read. Chapter 9, and verse 13. But go and learn, go ye, and learn what that meaneth. For I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. He said, I will do what? I didn't hear you again. I will have mercy. He came, he brought mercy, and so if you have, if you're a sinner, he will show you mercy if you repent. He will show you mercy, he will forgive you and push you and make you a new creature in Jesus' name. So, today, whatever you are looking for, you are not qualified. The mercy of God will qualify you. I am very, very sure. You say, ah, I'm not qualified. I'm dirty. I'm this and that. And so, repent today. Cry for mercy. Honestly, by the mercy of God, I'm assuring you, righteousness shall be yours. You shall be qualified. God will forgive you. God will give you grace to do the will of God in Jesus' name. Do you believe it? So, we should realize that God is merciful. Is he? I'm asking a question. God is merciful. There is no wickedness in him. I say no iota of wickedness in God he is full of mercy, goodness, holiness. And if you look at this play, let me show you something. In Exodus chapter 33, verse 18. Exodus chapter 33, verse 18. And I read 33, verse 18. Remember, Moses and many of them operated when after the fall of man. But God, see what Moses said. In the, the book of Exodus 33, I read verse 18. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. God said to Moses, because God had given him an assignment. He said, show me your glory. I want to know the glory. And that is the glory we are talking about that was lost. Now look at what he said. And he said, I will make my goodness pass before thee. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. God was unveiling to him the things that made up the glory of God. He talked of goodness and mercy. All this comes to God's divine nature. Now, if you look at this place, in the book of Exodus 34, Exodus 34 verse 6, God said, I will do that. And I, he said, of course, my, you know, my goodness might be for you. Let's see what happened there. Chapter 34 verse 6. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious long-suffering and abundant in goodness 
Ah, uh, truth. He was not showing, showing Moses his glory. I am full of mercy. I am full of goodness. Abundant in goodness and truth. I am full of mercy. So, he revealed to Moses, I am merciful. You want to walk with me? You don't know me? Okay. I am merciful. In case you are going to this journey, you know, remember who I am. I am full of goodness and truth and what? Mercy. And it happens. Something happened. We don't have time. I would have taken you to numbers. Where the Israelites offended God. And then Moses went to God and said, you know, you brought these people from Egypt and you, you know, you have done this for them. And look, the people will speak and say, why do you destroy them in the wilderness? In fact, you told me that you are merciful. Oh, yeah, now, show mercy. God said, I have pardon. As soon as he mentioned that mercy, because he had showed him at the very beginning, I am what? Merciful. Once he hit, he told him, you are merciful. He said, I show you mercy. I will not destroy you anymore. Praise the Lord. He see you today. God will show you mercy. Everybody here, God will show you mercy. As you cry to God in mercy, every sentence of death will be cancelled. You will fulfill your years. Every battle you are going through, God will intervene and give you victory. He see you. The mercy of God is what has kept you alive. If not mercy, you can be alive. I am very, very sure. If not mercy, no single person here will be what? Alive. That is why you need the glory of God, mercy. So that you operate in mercy and God will be with you. Praise the Lord. I said, what happens? God will be with you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Therefore, anyone who claims to be a child of God must have this divine nature of God because our Lord Jesus Christ restored it unto us. You must have the divine nature of mercy. If you say, I'm a child of God, show mercy. Praise the Lord. Because mercy has been restored to us. And so, that takes the point number two. He that is merciful will ensure mercy. Our application and the benefits. Seeing that our Lord Jesus Christ has restored the glory of his mercy to us, any person who claims to be a child of God must have this aspect of his divine nature, the glory of his mercy. You don't hear me? You must have, if you don't have it today, you must pray it in. And in fact, you will pray for the manifestation because hence you have Jesus Christ in you, you have those aspects. You pray that you begin to experience it in your life. It will come into manifestation. Praise the Lord. So, if you look at the Bible, it said in John chapter 10, verse 10, I come that then I have life. I have it more abundantly. I came to give you abundance of life. And it must be yours today in Jesus' name. And then if you look at this place in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, Ephesians chapter 1, please open your Bible and I'll show you something. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 and it reads blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly blessings in Christ if you have Jesus you have mercy if you have Jesus you have love if you have Jesus, you have truth. If you have Jesus, you have God's goodness. What you need to do is to pray and let this begin to manifest in your life. God bless us with all spiritual blessings in who? I'm not hearing you again. 
in who? Therefore, if you receive Jesus, you have received a package of God's divine nature, glory, which was lost by the first man. In Galatians chapter 5, rather, and verse 22. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, and meekness, and temperance. You can see various aspects of fruit of the Spirit. I've been mentioned, including the message we are talking about today. If you, have, if you are in Christ, you have all these aspects of God's divine nature, which constitutes His word, glory. So, every genuine believer must pray through to God's divine nature of what? I'm not hearing you. Pray through so that it be manifest in you. You begin to show mercy, demonstrate mercy. You must pray until you begin to practice mercy. Are you hearing me? You begin to show people mercy. If you have not started, start it today. Because all of them are in Christ, which you have received. Praise the Lord. So, I want to take note that we must pray through to this nature, which has been restored to us. Our Lord Jesus Christ. This is because in the absence of God, mercy, absence of mercy, there will be what? Wickedness. Are you hearing me? There will be killing and unforgiveness and hatred and envy and contention. Every kind of evil, backbiting and murmuring. If mercy is not there, it opens up for all evil. And there is no way one can claim or be able to convince others that he or she is born again without this aspect of God's glory. Are you hearing me? How can you convince somebody that you are born again when you are wicked? So, God said, I will pass before you and, and I am going to proclaim or uh, cause all my, uh, my goodness to pass before you. And he said, I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. So the benefit of the glory of his mercy are very clear in the Bible. Remember, the Bible says, whatever a man sow, that shall he also reap. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, let's see. We're talking about benefit of mercy. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. I read. Look at it now. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man saw it, that shall he also reap. Now, how do we let drive this benefit? In the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. Let's see something there. Please, please, open your Bible. Let's read it. Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. Blessed are the merciful. What happened? For they shall obtain mercy. If you show people mercy, God will show you mercy. Others will show you mercy. That is the great benefit in having mercy and showing mercy. If you don't have mercy, nobody will show you mercy. If you don't show others mercy, nobody will show you mercy. And if, listen to me, it is a law. It's a divine law. You show mercy, you get what? Mercy. You don't show mercy, you don't have mercy. Even if some people say, human beings say, ah, well, I'll show you mercy, God will not show you mercy. And so you begin to show mercy. Praise the Lord. So, blessed are the merciful. What happened to them? They shall love them. If you today pray through to mercy and begin to demonstrate mercy, everybody will show you mercy. God will show you mercy. 
In fact, God will be with you. Remember I told you before that he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in who? In God. He that dwelleth in mercy dwelleth in who? Now, if you are practicing mercy, God will be with you. And in fact, if God be for you, who can be against you? Nobody. So, you must make sure from today, mercy will follow you home. You will show people mercy. God will show you mercy. Now, so as we dwell in mercy and show mercy, we shall obtain mercy and no one can be able to harm us in Jesus' name. Look, look at this place. In the book of First Peter chapter 3 and verse 13. First Peter chapter 3. It in verse 13 and I read. Chapter 3 and verse 13. And I read, and who is it if you be followers of that which is good? If you are doing good things, who will harm you? Nobody. God will be with you. God will defend you. They will not harm you. So, we need to dwell in doing good, in showing mercy. Jesus did it in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Let's see what the Bible says. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, I read verse 38. And it reads, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Jesus went about doing what? And you saw that God anointed him. God was always with him. He went about doing good. If today we will pray through to this God divine nature, God will be with us. And as we go on to practice mercy and go out wherever we are doing good, I'm assuring you, God will be with us. And whatever God has given us in the month of abundance will flourish. It shall never diminish. We shall go from glory to glory. So it is very clear through the glory of his mercy. What are we going to do now? We are going to ask God, show me mercy. In every area of your life, your prayer will be like the prayer of blind Bartimaeus. Oh, Lord God, show me mercy. Because of Jesus who died for me, show me mercy. Save me. Show me mercy. Heal me. Show me mercy. Deliver me. Show me mercy. Fight for me. Show me mercy. Give me favor, financial breakthrough and connection. Give me mercy. Show me mercy. Give me husband. Give me children. Show me mercy. Cancel my problem. Cancel my debts. Show me mercy. Bless me. So we are going to approach God today on the basis of what? Mercy. And I so approach him on the basis of mercy. What do you think Jesus will do? I didn't hear you. Are you following this message? What, if you are crying for mercy to Jesus today, what do you think he will do? Mm. Well, well, but he will stand still. He will look for you. What do you say you need? Are you hearing me? When blind Patmos was praying, said, show him mercy. Jesus stood still. He couldn't move because you have touched the divine nature. He stood still. If you will cry for mercy today, Jesus will give you attention. He will stand still for you and will call you and say, what do you need? And he will give it to you. Can I hear you say amen? Where you are not qualified today, mercy will qualify you. By the mercy of God, God will make a way for you 
where there is no way. By the mercy of God, God will give you favor in the sight of men, in the sight of God. By the mercy of God, God will connect you. You see that battle? By the mercy of God, he knows how weak you are. When the devil and demon are chasing you, you can't see them because you're a human being. If they slap you, you will not know the direction of the hands. If they put a stud, you will fall. Because you don't know where the leg is coming from. But because of his mercy, he is the, he is the superior, the father of all spirits. He knows the devil, he sees the size and shape, anywhere it's coming from. By the mercy of God, he will deal with your enemy. If you believe me, say amen. Are you getting ready now? Promotion will come your way by the mercy of God. You see that impossibility in your life? By the mercy of God, it shall become possible. I don't know the gang up and plan and the bragging. I'm going to show you. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to, in fact, I will have a cake for several. I have uh, uh, this and that. My friend, listening to me, no weapon formed against so shall prosper. By the mercy of God, I'm assuring you, He will dislodge your enemy. He will make all their weapon as nothing in Jesus' name. All of you that are out of employment, all of you seeking for promotion. All of you that it appears that some enemies are terrorizing you as you cry for mercy. Imagine a situation. Your father is a, or how do I describe it? He's a power man. And then somebody is terrorizing you. And you cry to your father and say, Father, show me mercy. Look at my, what I'm going through. What do you think your father will do? He will deal with that. Uh, he will deal, if he gets that man, he will deal with him. Am I right? Now, who is more powerful than Jesus? Nobody. If you cry for mercy to them, he will deal with your enemies. I don't know what they are passing through. Some people are planning for you. They will fail. They will not succeed. Don't worry yourself. Keep on doing what you are doing. And you serve God the more. The more they are making noise, do what? Serve God. Sing your Hosanna sings. Hallelujah sing. Praise God. God will appear in his glory. You will deal with your enemies. If you believe it, say amen. Are you getting ready now? I'm assuring you, ask God for mercy to show you mercy in every area of your lives. Today, he will show your mercy. That's my assurance. He will take away all your problems you brought in. He will cause showers of blessings upon you from now till Jesus comes in Jesus' name. He will bless you. He will promote you. He will connect you. That thing you are doing that is not working, your business that nothing is happening by the mercy of God he will advertise your business are you hearing me and it will work that door that enemy closed in the split red and they are laughing at you by the mercy of God that door will open again he see you that they put you in the prison spiritually by the mercy of God today, that prison door shall be destroyed. God will release you in Jesus' name. All of you that people are asking you, show me the evidence of serving God. And they are mocking you to look at you. Look at you. you just wear apron. Just wear apron. Today, God will show them that apron is not anything evil. Today, God will show them that those wearing apron, that they are great men and great women. You know, sometimes, all these unbelievers, they can say so many things. 
and say, look at you, look at the apron. Is it this apron that making noise? Today, God will show them there is something more than wearing a apron. If you believe it, say amen. Of course, you know that whoever people are talking about has something special that he's doing. If these people are talking about apron, there is something apron. God use the apron to achieve. If not, that at least advertise the kingdom and the progress of the kingdom and the program of the kingdom. And above that, it is the trademark. Praise the Lord. They say, we will not operate here because of this chosen member. When they see their promise, chosen people is here, bad meat is here, don't find, don't attack this boss, hmm? because this person will spoil our business. Praise the Lord. Well, let me round up. I want to round up. All I want to assure you today is, wherever you are not qualified, by the mercy of God, you will be qualified. Yeah. Whatever you are looking for, by the mercy of God, it shall be given to you. Yeah. That thing that over the years, you have struggled and you have suffered. Life is not by struggle. By the mercy of God, you will overcome that problem. Yeah. I will cross you over in Jesus' name. So, ask him to save you from sin by the mercy of God. To deliver you from all evil by the mercy of God. Ask him to heal your body by the mercy of God. Ask God to provide for you by his mercy. Ask God to protect you by his mercy. Ask him to fight all your battle. By his mercy. Ask him to give you victory in all areas of your life. In every of your needs. Ask God, show me mercy. Give me victory. Fight for me. Defeat my enemy. He will do it for you. And so as I round up, if you are not yet born again, or maybe you are born again, but you are sleeping. What you need to do is to confess your sins, to repent of them, and promise God no more. Believe that Jesus died for you, shed his precious blood for you, and was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for your justification. As you believe it today, and invite Jesus into your heart to be your Lord, their personal Savior, salvation shall be yours. So, do that as we are going to pray. If you have a slide, do the same. If a sinner repents, ask for mercy. Confess and say, renounce them. And if you are a believer already, you should understand a Christian is not a sinner. And a sinner is not a Christian. That's what the Bible says. Let's read it in the Bible. In First John chapter 3, I read verse 8. And he says, he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Look at verse 9. And he said, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For the seed of God made it to him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Now, I want to let you know, verse 8 says, a sinner is not a Christian. Verse 9 says, a Christian is not a sinner. The question now is, what is sin? So that you will keep away from it. You repent on them and run away from them. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 17, eh, let's know what is sin. All unrighteousness is sin. Unbelief is sin. Unforgiveness is sin. Envy is sin. Pride is sin, lying is sin, contention, strife, bitterness, keeping malice, bearing grudge, lusting after everything, love of money, love of the world. All these things are terrible sins. Confess them, renounce them, and say, God, I am sorry. I will do them no more. 
backbiting is sin, murmuring, complaining, speaking of evil of people is a terrible sin. You need to search your life and mend your ways. Cause same people, swearing with heaven and earth, worshiping idol, making idol, having idol in your heart. Anything that takes the place of God, your life is what? Sin. Confess them, renounce them. Go into lady doctors to make sham or for divination or for pan reading. For any reason, it's sin. Renounce the gather them, burn them. Those that have altars in their house, where well, they, you know, are sacrificed to demons, repent to them and say, Lord, I'm sorry, destroy that altar and mend your ways. Those that consult the dead, that go to Belia Grant to cry, repent to them and say, I will never do that evil anymore. I mean, you are with those that read seven books of mostly magical books. Don't touch them anymore. Burn them completely. I mean, you are with all those that belong to secret court or open court or marine court or witchcraft court or local court or international court or campus court. Any kind of court is in his world. Sin. Gather all their property, burn them, have nothing to do with them anymore. And if you're a thief, you steal from your father, from your mother, from your parents, from your children, from your husband, from your wife, you search their pocket and steal their money. That is sin. Or maybe you're into, you know, you pick pocket when people are entering bus. You are pushing them, you say, enter, enter, enter. And you are putting hand in the pocket and collecting money. And you are just, as you are helping them, you are pushing them to enter. Don't do that anymore. And you collect their wallet, their, you know, uh, their, all, all their ID, and they are crying. Repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. I will do it no more. And return whatever I stole it back to the owner. If you know wherever they are, I mean, they are ways. And if you are among those that into burglary, you break home of people and pack their goods and pack their load, don't do that anymore. Repent. And say, God, I will never try it again. And if you are into armed robbery, you use knife or gun to break their head to kill them and collect their property, that's wickedness. Repent and say, Lord, I will never try it anymore. Show me. And if you are into Yahoo, Yahoo boys, among those who they call Yahoo boys, and you are into you know internet uh, stealing or robbery, repent and say, Lord, I will do it no more. If you are stealing with you know from the government, from people, don't do it anymore. And if you're a thief and uh, stealing money, and now as we are going to give offering or as we are going to redeem our pledges we made on Sunday, you say I'm giving God money, money you are stolen. No, don't try it. If you're a thief, don't give offering. If you a pickpocket and uh, Yahoo boys and you have people's money, and then when we are giving offering, you want to give, don't give us money. We don't need your money. I mean, you are ways. The righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I want to let you know, I don't know the evil you are into. Now is acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. Amen. Are you into among those that are into masturbation and fornication and adultery, homosexual or lesbianism? These are terrible sin. Renounce them and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I will do them no more. Or you are into prostitution, local prostitution international ones or you are visiting the prostitute that is sin or you are encouraging your children to go into it that is sin repent and say Lord I'm sorry I will do it no more if you are into abortion you say the drug you commit abortion my friend repent and say Lord I'm sorry I will never try it anymore maybe you are a murderer you're into ritual killing, hired assassin, kidnapping and killing, banditry, any kind of killing is 
terrible wickedness, sin. Repent and promise God no more. I want to remind you, if you are among them, please don't give us your money. We don't need your money here. No mother has inheritance in the kingdom of God. Amen. You are weak. I ask for the mercy of God. God will show you your mercy. I don't know the evil you are into. Now is acceptable time. Tomorrow is maybe too late. And so as I round up, search your life. All those that give bribe and take bribe and stop money from people because of their uniform, because of their gun, because of their position, don't do it anymore. I mean, your ways. And you are into fighting and quarreling. You are beating your wife. You are fighting your husband. You are fighting in the school, wherever you are, you are fighting people. Repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I will do it no more. If you are working for people, you don't do the work and you collect salary, that is stealing. Work to justify the money you are earning. Or um, you don't pay those working for you, that is sin. Pay them and God will pay you. I mean, you are ways. Those little smuggling, that is sin. And if you are among those that are into, you take alcoholic drinks, white mingo, blue kutu, beer, hot drink, local one or foreign one, or you're working in blue or selling it, that's sin. If that's your business, we don't need your money here. I mean, you are ways. I don't know the evil. Those that take snow, smoke cigarettes, and Indian hemp cocaine, heroin, if you're among those involved with all these things, repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry, and we do it no more. I don't know what you're taking, the drug you're giving you, whether they call it um, uh, water, solid water, or plumbing, these are wickedness. Don't take it, don't sell it. I mean, you are weak. Now is acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. As I begin to round up such your life, all unrighteousness, anything that is not righteousness is what? Sin. And if you are there listening to me now, you marry and divorce, or you are a second wife or third wife, or you have three wives or four, that is sin. Marriage is between a man and a woman until the dead do all spots. Marriage ends at death. And it is between a man and a woman. Let me show you something in the Bible. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. And I read chapter 19 and verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which met them at the beginning, met them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the twin shall be one flesh. Wherefore there are no more twin, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. What God has joined together, a man and a woman. What God has joined together, let no man separate it until they do all spark. Let no be, nobody. Don't go and destroy the, the ordination, the institution of God, the marriage. Don't go and make them three or two. Don't go and discourage them and say, you know, you are taking your child. That's sin. Until they do all that. And it is for better and for worse. If there is a problem in marriage, bring it to the matchmaker, Jesus Christ. Bring the problem of marriage to Jesus, he will solve the problem. Instead of leaving the marriage, instead of divorce, I mean, you are with. I want to remind you now, listen to me. All these people that put extra finger, extra eye, extra nose, attachment, weave on, palming, earrings, jewelry, bango, 
They make call. You don't need make call. Those that dress expose their chest, their armpit, their tummy, expose their nakedness. A Christian is not a seducer. A seducer is not a Christian. It, listen to me. The Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30, when they ask for what shall they do? So they go after being that ornament. Whenever a woman has poor, it begins to make up. A man has poor, it begins to bleach and make up. They put do Jericho, rough hair, scattered hair. They play their hair like a woman and they speak Niger, not no longer Nigeria. Whenever that's poor, you don't need those things. Are you hearing me? In fact, the Bible said in Psalm 139, verse 14, God has fearfully and wonderfully made you. And marvelous, you wonderful. Look at how glorious you are without this makeup. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I don't know the evil you're into. You see all these, uh, all these uh, uh, women that are wearing trousers. A woman wearing trousers is an abomination. A man wearing skirt and blouse is what? Abomination. If you see your husband wearing skirt and blouse and he's calling you honey, will you not say, why are you like this? Don't you know that like, that man is possessed? Your husband is home with a rapper. And he went out with the trousers and chits. And he's coming back with the rapper. Sometimes he put the earrings. And you're calling him sugar. He will show you pepper. So you don't need to dress like that. It's a mark of something wrong in the life of that man. The Bible said in Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Please see. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Please open your Bible. Let's read. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Not actually a man put on woman's garment. For all that do so, an abomination of the Lord thy God. They are what? Abomination. And the Bible made us understand abominable thing cannot enter heaven. Revelation 21, I read verse 8. Revelation 21, verse 8. Please look at your Bible because I'm rounding up very shortly. Revelation 21, verse 8. And it reads, But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars to have their part in the lake which burn with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You see it? All such people will be cast into hell fire. I pray it shall never be your portion. Now, nobody in this church will go to hell fire. That is my prayer for you. That at the end of it all, all of you shall make heaven at last. Therefore, repent and amend your ways. Remember, in Proverbs 28, verse 13, the Bible says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. For whoso that confess them and forsake them shall have peace. That's why we are mentioning them. So we will know them and confess them. I'm happy with that youth who gave testimony today, that student. He said he was into Yahoo, Yahoo, into all the sorts of evil and smoking. But when he had a preaching here, he gave his life to Jesus and they became a sound child of God. And the, he, the person that doesn't use to read from year one to the final year, he, he will just come on this exam time and last time. He doesn't read. But once he became born again, he was surprised that he made it to two. Even the final year, somebody who doesn't, who did not read, who doesn't read. God blessed him. If you repent today, God will bless you. I am very definite, very sure. Your life will change. And wherever you go, your life will attract favor, glory. People will like to deal with you. When they see you, they say, this young man, how I wish you can be my partner. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you something, my sisters and brothers. God, in his mercy, has made a provision for the sins that are past. Whatever you have done before now, God is ready to forgive you. May I remind you, 
In Exodus chapter 12, verse 13, he said, When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And that was a symbol because it was the blood of animal without blemish, signifying the blood of Jesus, which is to come in the New Testament. It was a symbol. So if you look at John chapter 1, verse 29, please let's see. John chapter 1, verse 29. I read. Chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John said, Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the lamp of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. What does the blood of Jesus do? It takes away the sin of the world. It does not cover sin. It watches away. It's not the blood of animal. It watches away sin. Praise the Lord. No wonder the Bible says, For God so loved the world. And he gave his only because of his son. And whosoever believed it, he should not perish, but have everlasting life. No wonder the Bible said in John chapter 19, verse 30, when Jesus shed the blood, he said, What? It is finished. And in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm not a way. There is no other option. I am the way. If I'm aware, then there may be other ways, but I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. And that's why he said in John chapter 8, verse 36. In fact, before then, if you look at John chapter 10, verse 10, he said, I come that they might have life, I have it more abundantly. And in John chapter 8, verse 36, he said, If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. He didn't say, If a Son, he said, If the Son, the Son of God. Jesus Christ shall make you free. What happened to you? You shall be free indeed. And he said in Matthew chapter 11, 28, come to me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you will come to the Father through Jesus today, eternal life shall be yours. There shall be transformation, power for righteousness or for sonship. Will be given to you in John chapter 1, verse 3, John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as receive him, to then give him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As we receive Jesus today, you will receive power of sonship. You shall be called who? A child of God. That shall be transformation. You shall live in newness of life. You will live life of goodness and mercy and love and truth and fear of God. In fact, you will live in the totality of the will of God. Look at the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. And I read, therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. If any man be in who? So, give your life to Jesus. That shall be transformation. shall become a brand new person. As if though you have not seen at all, at all. Remember, I don't know what you are looking for. Matthew chapter 6, verse 3 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. If you become a son and begin to live the kingdom lifestyle, righteousness, Please, God, in every area, God will be with you. He will supply and meet all your needs. He will bless you in all things. If you have this mercy and demonstrate mercy, God Almighty will be with you. He will bless you. I don't know what I'm looking for. You see, today, you will never go back the same. Your expectations shall be granted. As you give your life to Jesus, God will show you mercy. He will bless you. He will give you your heart desires in Jesus' name. Finally, read Romans chapter 10, verse 13. He said, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And for whosoever, who shall be among them? Rise up on your feet. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Open your mouth, confess your sins, be sorry over it, ask for the mercy of God. Everybody pray. Ask God, forgive me, I'm sorry for all unrighteous thought or ways or action or disposition to your mercy. I'm sorry for my wickedness. 
I will do it no more. Pray. Ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. Show me mercy. Forgive me. Show me mercy. I'm sorry. Save me. Show me mercy. Deliver me. Show me mercy, O oh Lord. Everybody pray. Show me mercy, Father. Show me mercy. Save me. Show me mercy for Jesus' sake. Oh Lord, show me mercy. I'm sorry for all the wickedness, unrighteousness, ungodliness, all the immorality, all the lying, all the adultery, fornication, all the abortion, all the killing. I'm sorry, oh Lord, forgive me, save me, sanctify me, walk on me, Lord, deliver me from every unrighteous, all the ways of action or disposition. Lord, I'm sorry, oh Lord, walk on us, make Kuzanje, Menus Kandari Compre, Manaska Taya Marusian Jenny Compre, Luskandaya Maraka, or walk. Call us. Everybody pray. Pray with all your heart. Pray. Everybody pray. Mercy. Mercy. Father, show us mercy. Show us mercy. We are sorry. Forgive us. Save us, O oh Lord. Lord, forgive your people. We are sorry for all ungodliness, unrighteousness, unfaithfulness, all the lies, exaggeration, all the fighting and quarreling, all the wickedness. We are sorry. Lord, save us, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh God. Father, deliver everyone in the name of power. Or just help the person going outside to look for where to relate. Help that person. Everybody pray. Le kapisu kata ya baraka. Se luvia kapisu kata. Je luvia luskandinia. Lord, show me mercy. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Save me. Lord, deliver. Everybody pray. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Father, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Father. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Father, oh Lord, and one more time, sorry Lord, Father, oh Lord, eyes closed and head bowed. That person that is into drug, hard drug, can you keep your hands up and say, I will not sell it, I will not take it anymore. Eyes closed and head bowed. I will not sell hard drug again. I will not smoke it again. Keep your hands. God bless you there. God bless you there. Eyes closed and head bowed. That person that is into unforgiveness, you have vowed not to forgive somebody, even if he's asking you for mercy. Or yeah, keep your hands up and say, I will forgive. Eyes close and head bow. That person has into adultery. Keep your hands up and say, I'm sorry, I will not do it anymore. God will show you mercy. God bless you there. God bless you. Eyes closed and keep your hands up. I want to pray for you that you are involved in two terrible act of masturbation and in fact into lesbianism keep your hands up the young man into homosexual keep your hands up the one committing fornication keep your hands up all of you involved into fighting and quarreling keep your hands up the woman that committed abortion some time ago is standing for you and against you keep your hands up and say god i'm sorry i will do this evil no more the person that belongs to a secret court, keep your hands up and say, God, I will never try it anymore. 
show me mercy. The person where you are walking, you are stealing. Don't touch that thing anymore. That's why things are not working well for you. Ask God to show you mercy. Keep your hands up. That person that's in a wrong marriage and you are struggling to make it good. It cannot be good except you amend your ways. Keep your hands up. God will save you today. He will give you your own husband. He will bless you. Keep your hands up. I'm praying for you. Keep your two hands up. In fact, all of you that want to give your life to Jesus, keep your hands up and pray for you. Don't go to the doctor anymore. Don't go for that divination anymore. Keep your hands up. Say this word after me. Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in them anymore. From today, I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me. And he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash my sins away from my heart. I plead the blood of Jesus. From today, I reject the devil. I renounce all his evil. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep your two hands up. Sing this song. I surrender. I surrender. All to Jesus. Bless Savior. I'm sorry, I'm sorry again. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. Oh, to Jesus. Blessed Savior, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Keep your two hands up. I'm praying for you, precious Father. I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I present these ones before you. Whatsoever they have done, known and unknown to them, Father, in your wrath, remember me. See. Every yoke of power that makes them to do evil, by authority, I break that yoke in Jesus' name. From this moment, I claim their spirit, their soul, their body for Jesus. Father, cancel their name in the book of death. Write the enemy in the book of life. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. Restore backsliders. Sanctify believers. And I pray that baptize as many who are qualified with Holy Ghost and power in Jesus' name. Pour your spirit upon everyone. And grace to live the Christian life in Jesus' name. Say amen to that prayer. Say amen again. Do me mercy. Do this for me. Do that for me. Do that for me. Show me mercy. Bless me. Heal me. Deliver me. Fight for me. Show me mercy. Restore. Bless me. Show me mercy. Visit me. Everybody pray. 
O Lord, show us mercy. Save everyone. Heal everyone. Fight for everyone. Deliver everyone. Show mercy. Show mercy. Show mercy. Show mercy. Show mercy. Show mercy. Everyone pray. Mercy, O Lord. Mercy, O Lord. Show me mercy and fight for me. Show me mercy and deliver me. Show me mercy. O Lord, I pray give me victory. Show me mercy, O Holy Way. Show me mercy and bless everyone. Kahuri. In Jesus' name, we pray. Have mercy upon us. The God of choosing, have mercy upon us. Abba, Father, oh. Have mercy upon us. You are choosing, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Our Redeemer, have mercy upon us. Abba Father, oh. have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon me. Abba Father. Eyes closed and head bowed. I close every way. I want to pray for you. I'm just chasing you up and down. And you are running by wicked people. They want to end your life. Whatever they're accusing you, whatever they say you have done, by the mercy of God, I cancel it. I pray from today, God will give you victory over there. And you have been dreaming terrible, bad, bad dreams. Dreaming of dead, dead people that died in your family. And you, but you are dreaming when you are going to the village. I was living in the village, in old house. In the name of Jesus, I cancel those evil. I decree by the mercy of God, you will be out of that evil. By the mercy of God, you move forward in life, make progress in Jesus' name. Person dreaming where you are naked. The enemy has stripped you naked. Nothing, nothing good. Right them about you. By the blood of Jesus, be clothed. <laughs> Everything they have taken from you, by the mercy of God, let all be restored in Jesus' name. <laughs> the person that is undergo oppression. And the enemy is waiting for you to come, they shall not succeed. I cancel that operation, be free in Jesus' name. I command the bleeding that ceased for a long time. I give you from now to tomorrow, begin to see your period. That fibro that is causing you a lot of trouble, I cost the fibro. I command it to be uprooted in Jesus' name. The person having had problem and you don't breathe well. Sometimes when you are sleeping, it appears you are going to give up. I pray the yoke today. I pray for a brand new heart be given to you in Jesus' name. Whatever they say that is disturbing you, kidney stone or whatever, I command it to be uprooted. Be delivered in Jesus' name. 
all that chunkness of blood, I command their blood to be filled. That person that every now and then typhoid fever and malaria, it refused to go. By the blood of Jesus, by the mercy of God, I pray that you in Jesus' name. I pray for you. That hand pressing you, life out of you in the dream. I cut off that hand. Father, deliver that person in Jesus' name. The breast pain be healed. The lungs be healed. All that moving objects, I command them to die in Jesus' name. The case of high BP, I cancel it for you. Let your BP return to normal in Jesus' name. That miscarriages, I stop it your life in Jesus' name. And I pray that from today, you will return the baby, deliver your baby like Hebrew women in Jesus' name. All that wounds in your internal organ, I command it to disappear. I cause the gastric ulcer. I cause the stomach ulcer. I cause whatever the devil projected in your body. I command it to disappear in Jesus' name. I pray that that forgetfulness be cancelled. That you begin to remember things again in Jesus' name. That mouth also be here. And I pray for you in your village. There is a lot of trouble. I command the trouble to cease. Oh Lord, intervene in Jesus' name. Whatsoever they have said concerning your family, I return it back to sender. All their plan to kidnap, to kill, to destroy, I destroy in Jesus' name. My daddy, all these ones that their business have been closed, and you also owing people, and you are running up and down. I stop the evil. I command their business be reopened. I command miracles. Let the money be paid in Jesus' name. That person that is desperately, you want to enter, you want to do something, but no money. And you are going to this person, going to that person. You yeah, say, God, you need money to finance this, to do this. I pray miraculously. I give you from now to this evening, receive the news. We collect and receive money to finance that project in Jesus' name. For somebody here, I cancel the quit notice. And I pray that the person that gave you the quick notice will by himself withdraw it in Jesus' name. And I pray that marriage checking, checking, oh Lord, stabilize that marriage. Or prove the strange woman there in Jesus' name. That person that said, God, I need a baby. Desperately, you need a baby. Stretch your hand up. Receive your baby in Jesus' name. And I pray delay a marriage for you. I cancel it. Let your husband come. Let your husband come. Let your wife come. It happen in Jesus' name. All those cobwebs, I command them to disappear. That delivery that is due, go and deliver like Hebrew women in Jesus' name. I cancel operation for you in Jesus' name. I pray for all these businesses that is not moving. I give them a command to move in Jesus' name. Advertise their businesses. Advertise their businesses. Bring buyers, bring connections, bring favor in Jesus' name. My daddy, delay in marriage, I pray the yoke. Let your husband come, their wife come in Jesus' name. 
abandoned project I command you to finish it this year all that fear somebody is having they are having fear this will happen that will happen I cancel all of them I decree divine intervention evil shall never happen in the land evil shall never happen in our nation I cancel evil I return them back to sender in Jesus name I bind spirit of wars and violence and bloody dusty demon. I bind the power. I return them back to sender in Jesus' name. My daddy, preserve my people, promote my people, fight for my people, make a way where there is no way for them in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Now, lift up your prayer request, three special prayer requests, and ask for the mercy of God. I'm praying for you. Chawa, your blessings upon me. The God of choosing, Chawa, your blessings upon me. I believe in you. Oh, Chawa, your blessings. So upon me, I believe in you. So upon me, the God of choosing. Pray. In Jesus' name, we oh, pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, everything prayed for according to your will. Oh God, show us mercy. Amen. By your mercy, let that request be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for this person that is drying up. I command that whatever the enemy has given you to eat in the dream, be cancelled. Yeah. Be free from that attack in Jesus' name. Yeah. And that your uncle has been a thorn in the flesh and is bragging and saying so many things. In the name of Jesus, I close the mouth. I pray that God Almighty will give you victory over that person in Jesus' name. And somebody here, you have wept enough. In the name of Jesus, I pray your tears be wiped away. Let your sorrow turn to joy in Jesus' name. As for this person, by the mercy of God, you shall be a light in that family. Stop saying that this one and nothing is working. This one, nothing is working. You. You. Something will work. Do you hear me? I pray that you be connected. I pray for somebody here. Financial miracle alert. From now on till three days, you continue to get a financial miracle alert. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. I pray for somebody, miracle visa will fill your portion. Somebody, miracle citizenship, permanent stay. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. And I pray for you as you have been looking for sponsor. God will give you connection. Father, bless them one by one. 
that terrible headache be cancelled the worst pain be cancelled the person that is always thinking thinking what are you thinking in the name of jesus i hand that your matter over to jesus Father, in the name jesus name bless them one by one all that pains in the lungs be healed that weakness be healed everything written in this papa i mentioned here today let it be granted in jesus name bless everyone touch everyone deliver everyone father every problem that enemy is planning from any source I return it back to sender. Forgive your people victory in Jesus' name. Any hand that shall rise up against us, I command it to wither for sin. I pray for this once, that child, I command that child be healed. That person in the hospital, I cancel that problem. The one in the prison in cell, I release that person. That person that I've been looking for a long time, I command that person to be released in Jesus' name. Say amen. Shout it again. Keep your hand, keep up your hands up. I pray for anointing that break all the yoke. Anointed for healing, anointed for protection, anointed for signs and wonders and miracle upon your life in Jesus' name. All these pictures and all these handsets, everything there is granted in Jesus' name. Final amen for today. And it is amen in heaven. All of you, as you are living here, testimonies. You are returning back with testimonies. I see, Lord, your prayers by the blood of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Now, as you are going, keep on singing this song. I'm the God of choosing answer prayer. I said the God of choosing and some prayer. Oh, oh, don't oh, be. Oh, oh. There is somebody outside the country that is stretching eyes, waiting for us to pray on coronavirus. I cancel that coronavirus. You are here over there in Jesus' name. Do you know you are blessed? How many of you know it? Me, I'm blessed. I said they got to choose an answer. Prayer. I said they got to choose an answer. Prayer. Oh. 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 Mama, don't be Don't mama, mama, don't pay. The God of chosen as a prayer. Don't mama, mama, don't pay. The God of oh, yeah, chosen as a prayer. Don't mama, mama, don't mm -hmm. pay. The God of chosen as a prayer.